Erling, we're coming over to you. Congratulations, first of all. Second individual award in a week. And your first season at Manchester City, I mean, it's difficult to have wanted more, right? Four trophies. You're so young and you've won so much already. How are you feeling right now? How is it all seeming to you? Yeah, of course, uh, I feel good. Uh, <laughs> what more can I say? Uh, I won the treble uh, as 22 years old and uh, yeah, I'm kind of living the dream. Uh, this was my dream when I was young. So uh, to be able to do this uh, together with my teammates uh, mm. is something special, of course. So uh, I'm really happy. Uh, and uh, it also gives me, gives me so much motivation to keep on working, to, uh, to achieve uh, more of the the trophy that just stood there, uh, and of course these, these are also really nice, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's free motivation and uh, I'm so happy. <laughs> and the fact that you're so motivated is quite scary for opposition defences, and all of last season, every single game we covered of Manchester City, the question was, how do you stop Erling Haaland? I mean, 52 goals is incredible. Um, how do you stop Erling Haaland? Are you going to tell us that? No, of course you're not. Hey, you shouldn't ask me this. You should I don't ask you that. Okay, so I'm not going to ask you that. I knew you wouldn't to tell me anyway. So the question is, how do you keep that level up next season? Because you're going to want the same. You're going to want more. Can you do it? I'll do my best, of course. Uh, but I mean, uh, as I said, it's, it's motivation. It's about keeping the, the head clear. And, uh, and uh, I think even more eyes will be on uh, me and the team now after winning the Champions League and everything. So uh, we have to be more uh, prepared. We have to be more sharper and, and everything. So uh, for me, it's, it's motivation uh, and uh, I'm ready to try. I'm ready to do my best to, uh, to, uh, to have a new great season. You know, you're surrounded by strong footballing figures, strong influences in the dressing room as well. I mean, we saw after, I think, the first game of the season, Pep, I mean, he's not here today to defend himself, but he was, you know, going on at you. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Your dad's here as well. We see him all, you know, everywhere. Who are you more scared of, your dad or Pep? <laughs> Good question. Sometimes <laughs> Pep, uh, Pep is a bit scary, I have to say. Uh, but again, my father also can be a bit scary. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is something I like. I like when Pep shouts at me. Uh, because he tries to, to get something in my brain that he don't think I have. Uh, so uh, so uh, I like it. So uh, I'm not complaining at all. He just wants to make me a better footballer. So, uh, so uh, I'm not complaining at all. And uh, my father and me, we argue a lot. We, we have uh, a lot of good moments together. So I'm not complaining there either. It's all in, a, in the right direction, isn't it? <laughs> Very honest answer Very as honest. well. <laughs> Love that.